Okay. Um, interest on the principal in a savings account or a long-term deposit, it's generally ca calculated using something called compound interest rather than simple interest. Compound interest is when interest is added to the principal at regular intervals, increasing the balance of the account, and each successive interest payment is calculated on the new balance. Worked example 7, I think it is in your book, does it by calculating simple interest one period at a time. So um, we're not going to go through that on a video, but that is one way that it can be done. So you can calculate the simple interest one period at a time um, and then keep doing it, etc. Um, but we can develop a formula rather than do it this way. And the formula has been developed, which is here, A equals P1 plus R to the power of N. That's the formula there. We'll put that into practice with a worked example. So William has um, $14,000 to invest. He invests the money at 9% per annum for five years and interest is compounded annually. So we use the formula above to calculate the amount to which this investment will grow. So use that formula and then uh, we work out how much interest William achieved. So let's write the formula down. A equals P1 plus R to the power of N. <clears throat> it tells us A is the amount or future value of the investment, P is the principal, R is the interest rate per compounding period expressed as a decimal number, a decimal number of compounding periods. Let's see how that gets put into place. So we're trying to work out A. We're trying to work out A. We know that P is 14,000 and then we have 1 plus R which is 9%. So we need to express that as a decimal. So 0 0.09 and N is the number of compounding periods. So N, it's five years, is N is five. So we've then got 14,000, 1.09 to the power of five. So remember it's times here due to a bracket that goes into your calculator. So A and A being the amount of future value. So by William putting $14,000 in under these conditions, the investment will grow to 21540.74. So again, with the formula for compound interest, it's a matter of substituting the given values into the formula. So that's part A. Part B, calculate the compound interest earned on the investment. Here's the formula here. The compound interest is A minus P. So A, we've just found 21540.74, P being the principal, the amount William started with. So 7,540.74 is the compound interest that has been earned. Okay, in the worked example we just did, interest is paid annually. Interest can be paid more regularly. It can be paid every six months, twice a year, every quarter, four times a year, monthly or daily. So how often it's paid is called the compounding period. And this is really important um, to take note of the compounding period. The time and interest rate on an investment must reflect the compounding period. So I'll explain it with this worked example here. So, we are trying to work out the, um, the future value of a $4,000 investment. So, principal is $4,000. Now, the rate, the rate is 6%. If you look up here, the rate is 6% for two years with interest compounded quarterly. So, to work out the rate, we get the interest rate per annum, which is 6%, and 
and we need to divide that by how many compound period periods per year. There is four compounding periods per year, so we've got six percent, which is sorry, which is 0.06. We need to divide that by the comp how many compounding periods there are per year. There's four because it's quarterly. So the, in, the R in this case will be 0 0.015. So that's how we get R, 0 0.015. What do we put for N? To find N, N is the number of years times by the compounding period. So for N, it's two years times by the compounding periods per year, four per year. So N is eight. So then A equals 4,000 times by 1.015 to the power of 8. Turn it over to your calculator and 4505.97 is how much money you will have if you put two $4,000 at 6% for two years compounded quarterly. So in this case, the, the difference is we've got a little bit of more, more work to do. We need to work out the rate and the number of years. Here explains how we did that.